So excited! My first trip to really fish this part of the river, and I am. You told me you were gonna throw streamers, and I thought, man, this guy knows <laughs> my deal. Yeah. He knows my deal. When guides get the day off, we—that's uh, all we do down here. Is Smack streamers fish as much as we can. Yeah. We're always going for the big fish out here. This is a convenient ramp. Yeah, it's nice. All right, hey guys, before we go too far, we obviously have a little excess personage here. Who's fishing and who is rowing? Let's decide right now. We always we always flip it out with a little rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> you decide. Trying to, All right, come on, let's go. Let's go. I need to know who's rowing. Okay, yeah. Ready? Two out of three. One, one, two, three. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> you Again. row. I love it. You row. You row, Bo. All right. Yeah, if you hold that, I'll slide your boat. That leaves me for fishing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you don't play, you can't lose. The town of Jackson, Wyoming, nestled in the awesome Jackson Hole Valley, is best known as a winter wonderland, and rightfully so. Home to powder, pack powder, and hordes of willing participants. But following the rules of Mother Nature, first comes winter, and then comes spring, slowly melting away all but the memories of a snow-covered landscape. And right on the heels of spring, summer makes its way into the pristine valley, converting it into a mecca for outdoor enthusiasts, most notably fly fishing fanatics from all parts of the world. So it was pretty much a given that Fly Fishing America host Chad Foster would be in the drift boat the minute Fletcher White and Michael Dawes of World Cast Anglers offered a float. As expected, Fletcher and Dawes provided non-stop entertainment to go along with the fishing. Hurry up, we want to go fishing! <laughs> well, you took me literally there. Whenever I'm around you two, I feel like I should pay for the entertainment. It's constant. <laughs> we like to goof around a lot of yeah. uh, Keep it fun. God, look at those white pelicans. You know yeah, those are bigger than brown pelicans? I heard that. By about four to six pounds. Do they do damage to your trout population? I don't think so. You know, I've never seen them actively feeding on this river, although I'm sure they do. What else do you think we'll see on the river today? This river's full of wildlife. It's got a great riparian corridor down it. We can see moose, we've seen bear on this river, we've seen bobcats on this river. We sit around and talk or we're fish? All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get out of here. I'm real sorry about that paper rock <laughs> thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just can't seem to win lately. What's a gig now? As soon as somebody catches a fish, you switch out for baseball? Or three strikes, you're out. Three okay, strikes you miss from, three? Three strikes from a fish. Or if you hang if you hang up in the bushes and the rower's got to go for your fly, one strike. One strike. And I'm quick. If you catch a fish, you're out. If you catch a fish, you're out. It's Any like a whole run. Yep. Nice. Good water on here. Strike one. That was strike one. I saw me at the first time before we saw him. All right, Jack. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. You know, this is kind of on the honor system when you're in the back of the boat. Yeah, you heard how and quiet he was? Yeah. There is a big fish. Oh, it's a huge fish. Fish, nice fish. Watch Chad, he's running underneath. I got buddy. It. Oh, he's out of here. He's going. This is what we call the Witness Relocation Program. The witness. Oh, oh my gosh. Right hey, you know what? We should, we should get a good photo of this fish, too. Yeah. When we get him in, not yet. I think he's coming. I think he's coming. There he is. There he is. Oh, there boy. Go. Got him, got him, got him. All right, we'll go down through the rapids. Yeah, we'll eddy out right. down here. Eddie out on the right. Go ahead and bring us all the way in. Okay. That's pretty bad. 
Oh yeah, we need to get a photo of this. All right, don't let them slip out of your hand now. That's what most of oh, do. Oh <laughs> One, two. Oh my God, what a shot. That could be award winning. Isn't that great? Huh? When Fly Fishing America returns, Michael shows Fletch a thing or two about catching huge trout, and Chad gets his own taste of the Snake River action. Ford Division's Fly Fishing America with Chad Foster is brought to you by Ford, America's number one choice for 15 straight years. By Cortland, fish with Cortland quality and fish with Cortland confidence. For more than 80 years, bringing you the finest fly lines in the world. By H.S. Trask, Bozeman, Montana. Footwear for American sportsmen. And by High Drift Boats. The drift boat built by fishermen for fishermen. Fly fishing offers anglers a multitude of fishing experiences, each special in its own way. But there's something about the solitude of a float trip on the oh. south fork of the Snake River that soothes the spirit like nothing else can. Oh, does nice fish. fish! Good job, Michael. That is no small fish there. That thing just pounded it. Look at that thing. You can see a fish that far underwater, <laughs> that big. Don't mind me, I'm just practicing my casting here. We got it. Slide it. Jeepers, creepers. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. That's a nice brown. What a fish. You made that look pretty easy. I think Mike's out, don't you, Chad? Oh, he is way out. We've got to put him right into the, into the road. There you go, guys. Look at that brown. Look at the yellow on that. That is thing. gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That's what I want right there, one of those. Now I can fish the back of the boat. <laughs> right. <laughs> It. There you go. There he there is. You go. There he is. He came from five feet downstream. Really? I watched Turned him all the way back, back up as soon as he saw it. Nice fish. Easy wow, anyway. look at that boy. That's a nice cutty. Come on back up one more time. Oh no, you got to come up a little more than that, baby. You take a couple more turns on the reel. Oh, you're right. I didn't want to have to do that. If you slow the boat down right now, this got. Oh, sorry. Too slow? No, he's right here. Oh, there he is. Nope, 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 nope. nope. I'm gonna get a little more leverage than that. Nice hook job. Oh, way to go! Oh, there you go. <laughs> I don't know what's fish. harder. Going 800 casts a day, <laughs> trying to land the fish and hold the net. Look at that fly just fall right out of there. Isn't that beautiful? That's a nice fish, huh? I was gonna let that fly drop in the water, but I saw it hooked up again. <laughs> This is a big, fat, round cut. Come on, nice baby. fish. Come on, easy, easy. That is a fat fish there. You know what? And off he goes. I mean, so many cuts are long and skinny. Right. That guy was fat. Should we name that fish Chad? <laughs> yeah, you can give that to Chad, man. <laughs> right. HS Trask, footwear for American sportsmen, presents Guideline. Fishing tips and advice from fishing professionals. Hi, I'm Mike Dawes with Worldcast Anglers, and we're out here in Jackson, Wyoming, fishing for big trout with streamers. The secret to catching big fish on streamers is imitating what they like to eat. A technique we like to use out here in Jackson is something called the flippin' strip. Now, all you have to do is go ahead and make a normal cast, and instead of stripping the line straight back into you, what you're going to do is go ahead and flip and strip. Now, the secret to doing the flip and strip is flipping the line and stripping at the same time. Now, an effective flip and strip makes the streamer look like an injured bait fish by diving up and down while pulsating in the water. If you perfect the flip and strip, I guarantee you, you'll catch more big fish on streamers. 
You're moving out a little too far. Let's aim now right off the right when side we of return, the boat. When we return, Chad gotcha. gets an invaluable lesson on reading big water, and Michael Dawes makes oh, hooking yeah. big trout look oh, easy. Yeah. Mike, let him run, let him run, let him run. Oh, yes. The value of an experienced guide with lots of local knowledge can't be overstated, especially in Wyoming's wide open South Fork of the Snake River. Michael Dawes and Fletcher White are two of the right, guys, best. I'm a little confused. I see bugs coming off, mayflies, I understand that. I don't see any fish rising. What do you see that I don't see? Well, all along this bar is where our mayflies come off, and along the drop-off, it's gonna look a little different right out in front of us. Um, develops a current where they can hide, and they just come up and sip the flies, so. You're seeing fish out right here now? Yes. I'm blind. I got a white there. an optometrist and I'm blind. <laughs> They're just sitting right off the edge of the flat, right off the shallow drop off there. Okay. And, so and as gonna... the hatch continues, these fish will keep moving in all along the bar edge, stacking up and just sipping the mayflies as they come off this bar. How do we fish it? We fish it, we want a downstream cast, we want to pile the, pile the cast up high and just get a good 10, 15 foot float and just keep working it all the way down along the river. Are you going to wade it? No, no we're going to walk, walk you down with a boat. Okay. Now once I get out 10 feet into the deeper water, do it again. You're moving out a little too far. Let's aim now right off the right side of the boat. Gotcha. There you oh, go. there he is. Uh, I nice. saw that. Fish. Mike, let him run, let him run, let him run. Oh, He's yes. <laughs> Look at you two getting all over each other. I like that. A little, brother, a little brotherly love. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> It's that instinct, you can't help it. Let me tell you, I would've walked right by these fish. I would've floated right by them. Most people do. Never, never would've seen them. Now tell me why you're doing that. You're trying to turn that fish back into some slower water? Yeah, he'll go out, go out in the fast current and broadside us every time and we will never see him again. This way, it kind of flips them up and down a little bit and it disorients the fish a little bit and they'll come right into us. Most people would never play a trap this way, but you'll, you'll see that he's slowly already. It's like you're turning a tarp in there. Yeah. Mike's so right. Fish have a natural defense, and they flare their fins from being pulled up, mm -hmm. but they have nothing to stop them from being pulled down. So you get them slipstreaming against the bottom, and you can move them through this faster current pretty that quick. That son of a gun's working. Look at that thing coming in. I bet this is fun. Beautiful it's work, done. guys. That is a huge fish on that little drop. <laughs> it is. I'm impressed. I am totally impressed. That is a great fish, Dawes. This is not the first time you two have done this, is it? <laughs> so Fletcher, how much do one of those flies cost? A lot, a lot. <laughs> That's a nice, nice. That's gorgeous. Wow. Who would have thought that thing would be sitting in this shallow water right there? Yeah, it's amazing. It's like a feeding frenzy. When the, the, the thicker the hatch is, these fish will stack up in the hundreds. And they'll be birds. all down here. That's why people come from all around the world to fish the Snake yeah. River. Can't blame them. All right, what do we do now? I don't want to talk, I don't want to fish. I think we need to change your fly. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Thank you very much. Did you see him turn and follow that fly and uh, then go eat it? He had to have it. That was pretty cool though. That was neat. Little flats fishing. I think we caught the tail end of the hatch. Do you? Yeah. I learned a lot there. I never would have stopped there. You some smart boys. If you hit it right. Those some western boys. Oh. You some smart boys. <laughs> oh, luck. I'm back on the streamer. All right, which one of you outlaws got the oars this time? Uh huh? <laughs> all right. Does you need a net? Friendships are put aside, and it's an all-out battle for every here. single honey hole when Fly Fishing America returns. That's what he's going to need. Ford Division's Fly Fishing America with Chad Foster is brought to you by Ford. America's number one choice for 15 straight years. By Cortland. Fish with Cortland quality and fish with Cortland confidence. For more than 80 years bringing you the finest fly lines in the world. By H.S. Trask, Bozeman, Montana. Footwear for American sportsmen. And by High Drift Boats. The drift boat built by fishermen for fishermen. Fly Fishing America uses equipment provided by these fine companies, including Dan Bailey. For the finest fly fishing equipment and flies, call 1-800-356-4052 or visit dan-bailey.com.
So we got an osprey coming off up off the bow of the boat at about 150 yards. Yep, I see him. He He's just... looking for a fish. He's gonna take your fish, Chad. I gotta hook my fish first. Look at that, he's got his own fish already. He's just chomping it down. There he goes, look at that, with a half a fish. Wow. As the end of the day approaches, competition between friends heats up, and it quickly becomes every angler to himself. Chad, Fletch, and Dawes couldn't get enough of the world-class fishing on the south fork of the snake. You can fish, see where that rock's pushing water right there? Yeah or the log, mm -hmm. just fish outside of that and below it. Just right here. Yep. Surprised Chad still trusts us. <laughs> Tell him where to go. I'm gonna go up farther. You gonna go above it? I'm gonna come behind you here, Chad, real quick. Okay. He walks right by me and he hooks the fish. Nice fish. Is it a cutty? Yeah, I know. He just went 10 steps beyond me and hooked the fish. As if to say, it's really not that hard. <laughs> you are no good, man. I suppose he's not going to tell us what he's using, too. We'll help him land it so we can see the fly. Dodge, you need a net? You gonna we walk him down here? No, yeah, he's gonna, walk him down a little he's bit. He's gonna need him. two new friends. That's what he's gonna need. Oh! Still hot. Still hot. Ooh, I'm starting to see that fly. Oh, I, I, I got it. You got, got it. it. Okay. So we know what we're dealing with here. What was it? They're getting a little bigger. He's going dry on us. You went dry? <laughs> Turks tarantula. <laughs> you went dry right there? Look <laughs> at me. We have. Really caught some fish. I know this is amazing. Gonna make our way down to the next spot. Let's keep going. I, I just want to take Dawes out of action oh, here. Wait, I cannot believe you put a dry on, man. <laughs> Look at him go. You know, as he went over there, he said, "Well, maybe later we'll put some dries on." <laughs> <laughs> Nice fish, fish Jeff. Did you see that take? That so was slow. Just super slow motion. I gotta say, the way you stayed down on that fish I waited. was masterful. <laughs> that was masterful. When you lost as many as I've lost, <laughs> you learned finally. Most men wouldn't be able to take it. I just waited till I saw the fly disappear. I had no choice. <laughs> We're gonna pull over right down on this grassy bank down. Okay. Oh, I wanna get below him. I'm gonna turn it under. All the way under, there you go, and strip easy. Start reeling. He's coming. I'm gonna lift, right where it keep going. Okay. Sweep back and up with the rod. There you go, Ready? all the way up. Yes! Nice fish. <laughs> you are my new best friend, man. Look at the size of this honking fish. You're gonna believe this. This is like the biggest fish I've caught on the dry all day. So, it's almost time to get out of here. Let's go. You guys are great. Thanks for having me here. Oh, I thanks love for it. coming. I love it. Thanks for coming. I just love you. Watch this guy underwater. Maybe you're ready to go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Thin up and all. Great job. Great Let's job. Let's go, baby. We're heading home, Michael. As the sun sets on the Snake River horizon, another summer day on the water comes to a fitting end. Lots of great fishing and a drift boat full of free entertainment. True to form, the summer will soon come to an end. The days will get shorter and eventually the ground will once again be covered with white powder. But there's a, a sweet little secret that most of the locals keep to themselves and maybe that's their right to do so or maybe not. Maybe every angler in America should have the right to know that in the Jackson Hole Valley, the fishing can be just as good in the winter as it is in the summer.
This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.